This is the world's first 3D printer made entirely from scrap. It's the brainchild of the team here at WoLab, a collaborative space in Togo's capital where tech enthusiasts and entrepreneurs pool resources to lift projects off the ground. Its founder, Sename Kofi, says it's Africa's first truly open hub with a very specific ethos. We're part of a global movement called the Makers Movement. The objective is to use what you have in hand, and it encourages independence. If you only have $10, you make do. If you have 100 you use 100 So we haven't sought out government aid. We wanted to show that with the little we have, we can make something great. This may just look like a lot of rubbish to the untrained eye, but WoLab's entrepreneurs know exactly what they're looking for to get their projects going. These cogs can be used in the 3D printer. Back at the hub, members have the chance to tinker with what it calls low-tech projects and apps, or dabble in one of five startups currently in the Silicon Villa incubator. Everything here is a joint effort. 20-year-old Audrey Rhodes is working on a startup which uses social media to advertise local and international events and inform Togo's future generation about the internet's potential. When I discovered Rollab, it fitted with my interest in technology. Nate, it was an opportunity for me to develop a startup and to maybe eventually become a Bill Gates. I'd like the government to create more spaces like Rollab to help other young people develop their ideas. A modest space like this has helped young people with innovative ideas dream big. They think more hubs around the city will encourage Togo's future generation to tap into its entrepreneurial spirit. WoLab was created as a space that people can use to transform their city. So what we'd like now is to replicate more spaces like this one in the neighborhood and see if in five to ten years, people here have begun to change their area. WoLab is a shining example of the innovative potential in one of Africa's least developed countries. But despite winning various international awards, the lab's 3D printer has attracted little support from the government. In true WoLab spirit, though, its members are set on using what resources they have to encourage others to come and discover their potential all the same. Clementine Logan, CCTV, Lome, Togo.